Why are you a Christian, Ted? Let's take it where it goes. That boy, what a question. Um, so the, the bottom line is, uh, I mean, I grew. The, the the honest answer is, I grew up. Um, you know, and my mother led me to Christ when I was about nine years old. Actually, she took me to vacation Bible school. And so that's where I that's when I became a Christian. But um, but when I got older and I got to be a teenager, late teens, early college, I had some serious questions about what this is that I believed. And I wanted to know, is there any any reality to it? Uh, is this is this just a made up story or do we have any evidence for it? So that led me on a very, very long journey that I've been on for many, many years and, and to study apologetics and archaeology. And as an archaeologist, um, now I actually been to the Middle East and I've been to archaeological excavations and we have physical evidence of the stories in the Bible that they're actually historically reliable and true. But uh, but the but the basic apologetic sort of points that I want to make just very briefly is that, number one, why am I a Christian? Number one, I believe that truth exists, that there is such a thing as truth. And um, I believe that miracles are possible. Because if there, well, well, let me back up. Truth exists. God exists. There is a God, a spaceless, timeless, immaterial creator of the universe, which science points to. Um, they, the, in fact, the, sci the physics and the science actually show that all the universe came into existence at a point of singularity that some people call the Big Bang. You can call it whatever you want, but it came into existence out of nothing. And whatever caused it must exist outside space, time and matter. So what we have, we have a supernatural origin of the universe. So truth exists. God exists. And if, if there's a God, as Lewis says, then miracles are possible. The universe is not a closed system. Science is not all there is. There are miracles that can happen. And uh, the last one is that the New Testament records, as, Car as Paula uh, pointed out, as Carla pointed out, uh, the New Testament records that Jesus of Nazareth lived was buried, what died on a cross, was buried and rose again from the third day. And it is a historically reliable document that's been uh, shown to be very, very accurate with historical manuscripts and literally tens of thousands of archaeological discoveries. So so that's kind of the <laughs> apologetic outline in a nutshell as to why I'm a Christian. I believe there's good evidence that Christianity is true and that you can actually believe everything that the New Testament says is absolutely true and accurate.